G'day guys, how are you? My name is Skipper, welcome back to another video and today we are looking at the Magic Ground fixtures which I must say are interesting to say the least and I'm not the only one who thinks this because everyone in the AFL community is losing their sh as you can see but um, we're going to go over it anyway and let's just get this over with so I can go to bed. So the first game for the round of the gather round, whatever they call it. But first we have Carlton and Adelaide at the Adelaide Oval on a Thursday night. Questionable decision for a Thursday night game, especially for these two teams, but... Last time they met, they drew a good crowd, had well over half of Adelaide Oval show up, and Adelaide got the job done last time, putting a dent in the Blues finals hopes, but um, this could be a really good contest um, with a good Patrick Cripps, a fit and healthy Ben Keys and Darcy Fogarty. This could be a close matchup. Next one is Gold Coast and Fremantle. I don't think this is the worst fixture on the list. Um, it's okay. These teams, both these teams could have a pretty good um, season next year. Uh, but what the hell is the time? Honestly, for 10 past 5 and... Why is it? Why is a Friday game being played at Norwood Oval? Obviously, Norwood Oval is a sandful ground, but why are we playing a set a at a sandful gra ground on a on an evening Friday night or Friday evening? It's kind of stupid, but this game won't be too bad, I reckon. It could be pretty good, but let's just move on to the next one. Richmond and Sydney at the Adelaide Oval at 10 past 8. You're obviously, most people would be coming from the Norwood game. And I think this is probably one of the best games of the round. Probably one of the only good games of the round. And would be a pretty good game. Probably not going to this, though. And let's move on. Where the hell is Mount Barker Oval? This is in the middle of nowhere. How far is it from Adelaide? Fair distance. Let's at least see the ground. That's barely a ground. Where's the seats? There better be a grandstand at least. Is that a grandstand? It doesn't have a grandstand. It doesn't even have much grass to sit on and you're gonna play an AFL game here. Oh my goodness. The AFL has made a great decision. Well done, best fixture ever. But seriously, this is probably one of the worst games of the week. We already know who's winning. I think Brisbane's going to win this easily. Um, I, of all places, why Mount Barker Oval? There was a primary school across the road. That's probably where the kids play. But probably a boring matchup. Probably one-sided. At least it's an early game. So probably going to get about a thousand people if they can fit it there. And let's get on to the next game. Moving on, we have Essendon and Melbourne. Now, depending on how both these sides play, could depend how good of a match this is. This could be a close contest. This could be a one-sided contest. Or this could just be a whoever wins it contest, which means the game won't be that interesting. But I don't think it'll be the worst game. I think it probably should be played at the Adelaide Oval. But probably 
should have been a Marvel Stadium game saved for another round or something. So, yeah. Another pretty good game, surprisingly, from this fixture is the preliminary final um, rematch between Port Adelaide and Bulldogs. Obviously, they flogged the sh out of Port Adelaide to get in to the grand final. But it should be okay. Both teams might be at a similar level next year. And it'd be a pretty good close game. Probably deserves the prime time over the other games earlier on. And I think it should be close. No, I was just kidding when I said that the Brisbane-North Melbourne match was bad. This is probably the worst of the week. Um, it's just going to be a one-sided contest. At least North Melbourne have a good list. I just don't think it's going to go anywhere. Geelong are obviously winning this unless West Coast have the quickest rebuild of all time. Let's just move on to the next one. I'm basically done with these fixtures. Another D-tier fixture. Not really that interesting. Glad it was played at a local ground and um, it's not... It's going to be like a battle of, the, battle of the bottom, to be honest, because I don't think either teams are going to do that well. So, that's this. I'm not going to this game, even if I do go to Adelaide. Um, just, it's a meh D tier game. They finished the round with a very, very, very good game that shouldn't be played in Adelaide. This should be saved for Melbourne. This is one of the great recent rivalries of the modern AFL era. Why would you be playing this game in Adelaide, though? Why not save it for somewhere else? Because this is going to be a pretty good game, I reckon. If St Kilda are in good form and the Pies are having a good season as well, this will be really close. But of all of all places to have it and of all rounds, why the, the magic round? I'm calling it the magic round because I'm sorry, but the gather round just sounds stupid in my opinion. But I would think about watching this game. And that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Watch this because I'm going to bed. Stuff these fixtures. I'm sorry. They're just not that good. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.